Well, we we uh, we I'd just been to South by Southwest and seen Bridesmaids screened. Fell in love uh, with it. Fe- completely <laughs> fell in love with it. Came back. It wasn't even a finished cut. Came back and said to Rachel and James, "I've seen this script, and we need to do something like this. This incredible female voice." And a couple of weeks later, yeah. it was literally a couple of weeks later, Tess's very first draft of Man Up that she'd written on spec uh, arrived on our doorstep, <laughs> and we just were like, you know, this never happens. It just never happens, and we all completely fell in love with it. And we're like, we've got to do this, and there was a bit of a bidding war. Yeah. We fought some other companies off, <laughs> but we got it, and, yeah. and it was, you know, it was genuinely the thing that we'd been looking for. Um, having made lots of boys movies. Yeah, <laughs> quite a few boys <laughs> movies. You may have heard of them. <laughs> Uh, um, so we, yeah, we felt very lucky. Yeah, they're phenomenal together. Yeah. Um, I mean, you tell the story best in terms of how we got Simon on. Well, board, we got but... Simon. It was just, you know, we were we were actually filming World's End, the three of us at, at the time, and we and we sent it to Simon and in a pit. And in, in a, a pit. In a, we were filming in the catacombs, and it was actually the last day of the shoot. And uh, we sent it to Simon and said, you know, you don't need to read it now, but read it at some point. And two and a half hours later, he said, I love it. I'm in. And then we sort of went about finding our Nancy, which was difficult. Mm. And we we saw the trailers for In a World, and we just had this kind of feeling that you know, even though Lake's American, that perhaps it was clear that she was good with accents, that she might be the one. And so we contacted her. She flew from New York to LA, met us in a bedroom where she read with Simon, and immediately it was just we were so kind of it was like we'd known her forever. And uh, and yeah, it was just they had immediate chemistry and they just were so easy and natural with one another and that was it yeah no he's extraordinary and it's really kind of um, amazing to work with somebody who understands intellectually uh, how, how to make comedy work on the big screen and um, no, we're extremely lucky to have him not only an unbelievably talented director but a thoroughly gorgeous lovely man um, and we've yeah we've all made a lot of friends on this film and I think maybe that feeling comes across in the movie we had a great time making it and uh, can't wait to make another film with both Tess and with Ben they're fantastic yeah uh, they can expect to have a lot of fun to laugh a lot to cry a little uh, to maybe see something of their own life reflected on screen in a very honest way but ultimately just to walk out feeling great which is a long time I think since we've had a romantic comedy that really honours that and is just heart on its sleeve and just out there to kind of make people feel good and and snuggly and romantic, basically. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from The Goonies? Nice. Hey!